Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I started trying to film the other day and I will insert some of the footage here. Okay, so I've just sat down to film and I've just actually filmed one video, but I am in so much pain. But basically I tried to film and I was in so much pain and I just wanted to be completely utterly real with you guys. I didn't want to like put on this smile and this fake like persona of somebody who's never been in pain and like is not in pain because I had done so much housework that day that I was just so much so in pain like I cannot even begin to describe how much pain it was I feel like I've said pain loads of times literally couldn't do anything but I started filming and then I was like I can't do this so I basically just had to stop and hence why I didn't have an upload I miss an upload basically and I was really down on myself and was like oh god I miss an upload now but sometimes you can't you just can't help it like sometimes there's you know life gets in the way and health issues get in the way I'm up now and it's quarter past seven and I'm already up which is a shocker because for the past couple of days I have been getting up at like 10 o'clock in the in the morning so like to get up at quarter past seven is a massive shocker i'm up i've had breakfast and i'm ready to start the day obviously my hair's tied back because that's what i do every single morning i don't have it down although i do prefer it down but i don't have it down in the mornings because i just like to tie it back and get on with my day yeah let's see what today brings it's now dinner time it is currently 17:47. So I am going to make some dinner. So what I'm thinking is I actually brought this massive um, veg bumper pack and I love making vegetable mash. I know that sounds really stupid, but like vegetable mash basically like having veg and having like potatoes and sweet potatoes and everything and just shoving it all in a pan, mashing it all up. It is one of the most amazing mashes I've ever had and obviously then you're, you're incorporating your veg in there as well. So I'm going to grab a massive pan off of my pan rack and I'm going to start chopping. So I will change the camera angle so you can see me chop. I am not the best chopper, but let's get started. I've been losing sleep, what to do? Could somebody come and take me away? I've been in the tea without you And I got it in my head night and day But we are one step closer We're all in this together, put your hand in mine Yeah, we are one step closer Can you feel it, baby? It's the end of the line It looks like we made it Let's get it on, we can't go We're moving on the world It looks like we made it So just put in perspective, this is how much veg I've used, like, and this pot is not small, it is massive. But as I said, I'm bulk cooking, so because I'm bulk cooking, I need a lot of veg because I'm going to save some, I'm going to freeze it and stuff once it's done. So I have got my veg in this one, the veg and the potatoes and stuff, so that's got my starch and all of my, like, vegetables that I'm going to be having when it's all mashed up. I then have taken some corn pieces, so this is just a, like, a regular... 300 gram bag of corn pieces and I've put it in with a little bit of hot water just to defrost it it's not going to go on just yet because I want the veg to start cooking first but once this is like warmed up and it's cooked I'm going to be adding this which is a Lloyd Grossman like tomato sauce 
and then after that that is going to be it for today but you could add I suppose like you know more veg on the side or something which I might end up doing I'm not entirely sure I do have some kale so I might add a little bit of kale on the side but um, I'll see how I feel when it's all cooked so this is what the veg mash looks like. The corn pieces are still cooking, but I've mashed up all this veg. And as you can see, it like halves it, like when you actually mash it up. So do double what you think you're going to eat because it mashes it all up and it makes it smaller. But I'm going to add a few um, herbs and spices. So I'm just going to add those now. So the first herb I'm going to add is some parsley. I don't add a lot. It just looks nice like in the veg so the next thing I add is a vegeta so if you haven't had this this is amazing this is absolutely a life changer a game changer when you're cooking anything with veg in it add about that much kind of it's got loads of spices in it and it actually makes the veg and any mash or anything like that taste amazing the next thing I add is garlic powder so I put all of my spices oh this is um really stuck but you don't need much anyway so put about that much in. But the garlic powder just adds a bit more flavour. So the next thing I'm going to add is some coriander. It, whenever you're having carrots, I find adding coriander, um, dry or fresh, is amazing. Like I find it definitely, if this wasn't in a huge lump, but I find that coriander just makes it like taste nice. Similar to the carrot and coriander soup. So I finished adding my spices and what I'm going to do now is just give it a good old mix with the spoon that I'm going to serve it up with. So I will see you back once I've given it a good mix. So that is the veg mash done. I'm now going to start doing the corn pieces. So I have drained the corn pieces off and I've added this Lloyd's Grossman sauce. I'm now going to add some chicken seasoning. Obviously if you are vegetarian you can skip this part but I love my chicken so I'm going to add my chicken seasoning. And just to clarify, I am not vegetarian. I just prefer corn sometimes. So um, yeah, let's add the chicken seasoning. So I'm now gonna plate up everything. So this might get a bit wobbly, but I'm gonna try and be as, as good as I can in terms of like serving it up. So I'm first we're gonna put some of the corn pieces in tomato sauce. I think I'll start with that. And then with the veg mash, I'm going to add a couple of dollops only because it has got the veg in it as well. So I find that sometimes, you know, you need a bit more. Maybe a teeny bit more, right. So now I've got all of this, I'm, I'm kind of missing a portion here. So what I might do is I might get some kale, as I said, and I might warm it up and have that. So this is the finished meal. It looks super nice. I did end up getting some kale out the freezer. I got two balls. So when I bought the kale, it's like in portions of like balls. So I find that like two balls is about, you know, that sort of amount. It's quite a nice amount for one person. Obviously, you know, if you like kale, have more. But this is the finished plate. I think it is amazing. I haven't cooked a good meal in so long, but now I have. So let's go and eat. Nobody can make a feel down. She was always smiling from me to end And everybody wondered